Alright, hey guys and welcome back to another Marvel's Avengers video and today is the day guys, it's the day we've all been waiting for, Kate Bishop drops in just under 12 hours away of me actually putting this video out um, and today we have gotten a new tweet from uh, Marvel's Avengers and it is everything you need to know about Marvel's Avengers Operation Kate Bishop taking aim. So this uh, basically this goes through an overview of her role in the continued narrative and um, and basically it's to talk about her new operation, how the introduction of Kate affects the Avengers initiative, and expanding on combat with tips and tricks to master her unique style. So we're going to go through that in this video, guys. As always, don't forget to leave a like, comment, share, subscribe if you guys enjoyed. I will be doing a live stream. I've already put a scheduled live stream out, guys. It will drop in, a, like, I will start in about four hours away of me actually putting this video out. Um, and it's going to be a 12-hour live stream. It's a big celebration of our, like, you know, basically of us hitting 4K last week as well, at 4K subscribers, I should say, as well as, you know, uh, our new post first post-launch hero coming to Marvel's Avengers. So a big celebration stream, guys. I'm going to be pulling an all-nighter, so I uh, hope you guys can uh, join with me on the fun. Uh, definitely going to be interesting for sure. But uh, yeah, I'll put a link to that stream in the comment section, uh, in the description below, I should say. But now let's get straight into this video. So when you first boot up the game after the Kate patch is installed, you'll be greeted with a bright purple window uh, on the left of the starting screen. That will start Kate's operation. If you miss this, don't fret. You will always start the operation in the Avengers Initiative as well. You don't have to have completed the reasonable campaign as well, um, you, but you what they highly suggest that you you know uh, complete it because they're you know it's spoilers you know, um, but yeah you don't have to complete the Avengers Initiative campaign to start this, which is really I think that's kind of nice as well. Uh, so taking aim is a new story with a new superhero that takes place in the existing world of Marvel's Avengers. Kate Bishop, who first appeared in Young Avengers number one, is a master archer and skilled gymnast. Missing, uh, missing since A days, she resurfaces after investigation into Nick Fury's disappearance, results in her mentor Clint Barton, aka Hawkeye, going missing as well. As she unravels the mystery behind the mystery behind the sudden appearance of time warping tachyon rifts, she uncovers a twisted new plan from AIM, which pushes her to work with the Avengers once again. The first mission takes place in Shield Substation Zero by taking, uh, sorry, by talking to Maria Hill. You won't start off playing as Kate since there are some narratives to unravel first, but rest assured you'll surely recruit her into the into the operation. Every single mission in Operation Taking Aim can be played multiplayer with any character of your roster. If you choose to play through a mission as one of the core six heroes, Kate will join you as an AI companion. As we've talked about before, Operation Taking Aim just is the first part of the Hawkeye double feature that will conclude with Clint Barton's Operation Hawkeye Future Imperfect early next year. We're super grateful for the excitement surrounding the Future Imperfect sneak peek and have been watching your reaction videos and can't wait to share more details with you. But back to Kate. Kate is a trained and dedicated warrior. Uh, basically just goes through everything, you know, what, what, what she is like as a character and what you can expect for her uh, in the game itself. Um, but then we can look at some, Kate, uh, some of Kate's unique combat skills. So Kate's kit, we have Tranquilizer Arrow, quickly swift uh, to the bow and fire on arrow that applies the uh, snared debuff. While affected by the debuff, enemies have reduced impact resistance, making them easier to interrupt. Uh, Demolition Blast Arrow, so uh, a fire and arrow that attaches surfaces with a time delay. Proximity Explosive that launches targets into the air when detonated. Warp Arrow, we've uh, heard about that one before, it's basically the teleporting arrow which creates a quantum explosion that deals damage to all nearby enemies, launching them into the air. The teleport effect can also be triggered while the arrow is in flight. Uh, Blade Dancer Strike, a melee combo move that breaks through enemy defenses, slamming them into the ground and leaving them vulnerable to additional attacks. So this is all be the skills that we can unlock with Kate guys, so I'm really excited to uh, see all these. We also have Blink, which is basically her teleporting around the map. Uh, smoke Screen Arrow, perform an invasive bow attack, firing arrow that creates a cloud of smoke and inflicts additional stun damage to enemies inside the smoke. And of course we have our decoy, which is uh, her setting up a decoy, her and uh, the hologram uh, is a distraction uh, to enemies um, through an infusion of quantum energy. The projector can create actual quantum arrows that shoots at nearby targets, providing additional offensive support. So basically like a turret, like I said in the last video, guys. Now this one is a big one, guys. You have to make sure that you have a thousand uh, credits ready to go. Because her challenge card, in addition to all these exciting new skills, Kate also comes with a fresh hero challenge card. Hero challenge cards allow players to earn resources, units, credits, and cosmetics for completing in-game challenges. Each hero challenge card has a free and unlockable premium track with 40 tier rewards. Rewards are earned via challenge points by completing daily and weekly challenges. Kate's premium heroic card track can be unlocked at a cost of 1,000 credits. 
which many of you have already earned through uh, completing the free cards of the six starting heroes. So this confirms it guys that Kate Bishop and any other character that comes into Marvel's Avengers post launch will have a free challenge card but you can also upgrade and get for a thousand credits the premium challenge card. Now I would say this probably gives us you know a bit extra um I don't know if we'll get a premium challenge card and a free challenge card or you know it's just an upgrade i'm not too sure about that we'll have to wait and see um but i'm definitely uh, going to upgrade that's for sure um i think i can't wait for that so before we uh end this one guys there are some tips and tricks for kate as well uh, actually from the dev team so first of all we have intrinsic energy management kate's short range teleportation uses up uses up intrinsic energy which means she can only use a finite amount of, of, of it at times make sure you don't use it all up before diving into a horde of enemies or you have trouble parrying or teleporting away Close combat. If enemies get up close to Kate, don't feel pressured to switch to a sword. Using scatter shot arrows up close deals a significant amount of damage. Scatter shot arrows are also excellent for applying status effects to large groups of enemies. Breaking shields. Bomb arrows work well against the shields. Uh, give it a try. Uh, airborne. Launch enemies into the air with the heavy combo or demolition charge arrows. Then juggle them with the razor arrows or quantum blitz and strike skills. Extra damage. Powering with quantum shift and following up the quantum arc is a good way to set up enemies for additional combat damage. Critical damage. The disruptor arrow and perfect draw are two skill sorry, two kill key skills to maximizing critical damage. Taking making space. Blink dash is an excellent way to close the distance to a target for melee attacks, or to create some space to take aim and attack with arrows. And the last one guys, quick ground coverage, in addition to being an amazing combat tool, warp arrow has the great utility. You can use it to reposition, convert, cover ground fast, or get yourself out of harm's way. So that's all the tips and tricks that they have given us, guys. Of course, I will be doing my own version uh, of, you know, my first impressions of Kate when she, you know, of course, when she drops later on today. Um, that video will be coming out in the next couple of days. And maybe I might do some tips and tricks as well. If you guys would like to see that, let me know in the comment section below. But yes, that is it for this one, guys. Uh, I know you guys are really excited. I am really excited about this too. Um, you know, cannot wait for Kate to drop. You know, she drops very, very shortly. You know, like I said, less than 12 hours away. Now, we don't have a specific time on when she's going to drop, but a lot of people, uh, you know, and myself, are, you know, very suspicious that it will drop at the weekly reset or, you know, the reset of, um, of the cosmetic store, which... You know, just go on to Marvel's Avengers, guys, and you'll see it in the um, marketplace. So the marketplace reset, I think a lot of people are really um, sure that that's when the update will drop. So that's at about 4 or 5 a.m. our time in Australia. So I'm going to be very tired, guys. So uh, make sure to jo join up on the stream and uh, try and keep me awake. Um, but uh, yeah, I cannot wait for this, guys. I know you guys can cannot as well. Um, but yeah, thank you guys so very much for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed. If you guys are excited for Kate, guys, make sure to smash that like button and uh, subscribe for more, you know, Kate content in the future and Marvel's Avengers content for every hero that drops in this great game that, you know, uh, it, you know, it's coming alive, guys. It, the hype is real. But, uh, yeah, thank you guys so very much for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed. I will see you guys in the next one. And as always, happy gaming.